This is Druid4574, and this will be another Elite Dangerous training video. In this video, I'd like to talk about uh, the basics of Super Cruise, which is one of the two functions of your hyperspace drive on a ship. In this one, I'll be flying a Beluga liner. It's a much larger vessel than the Eagle that we were using before. Um, but it shouldn't matter for Super Cruise. All ships uh, do that in more or less the same way. Uh, so, to super cruise, you can either have a um, stellar, or, or sorry, an astronomical object in the star system that you're in selected, um, such as Venus here, the planet, uh, in the Sol system, or not. Uh, you, either is okay. The thing you don't want to do if you want to get into super cruise is have a star system selected. So that's one of those here that have the star system symbol on the left, like Alpha Centauri, for example. Um, notice that that has multiple light years away, and that would execute a jump, and we'll talk about that later. But, since I want to, <coughs> excuse me, instead go to the planet Venus, which is in the same system, I will uh, find that on my navigation tab here. It has the planet, um, uh, planetary body symbol to the left of it there as long as a distance away. That's 285 light seconds. It's quite close, at least by this game's standards. So you can lock destination um, by cycling through the menu using the space bar to select things, um, and W and S to scroll through the options. The um, lock and super cruise function I don't find very useful for the most part. I usually prefer to do that manually. Uh, however, I encourage you to play with it if you'd like to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock the destination, which again is not required to enter Super Cruise, um, but uh, it gives me an idea of where I want to point my ship, so I'll, uh, I'll do that. So then I'll hit the uh, frame shift drive charge key, which is the J key in uh, the default configuration. Frame shift drive charging. That'll charge up the drive. Now I have to throttle up. And the ship will tell you that if you're not at full throttle, uh, in order to jump into super cruise. I like flying in super cruise with the orbit lines turned on, and that tells me um, what, uh, where the uh, planets are that are circling the star in question, and what their flight path is, as well as the flight paths and such of any moons or even star systems. Or I'm sorry. Uh, starports and uh, other orbiting things will be shown in these orbit lines. So, in flying in Super Cruise, notice that I'm at full throttle. That will cause me to jet past Venus way too quickly, so I'm going to throttle back and put my throttle in the middle of the blue zone. That will cause the ship's um, frameshift computer to slow us down automatically when we approach the planet. Um, and I like to have it always in the blue zone if I'm 500 light seconds um, or less away from a planetary body, or if I'm 20 seconds away from the planetary body. Notice that we have a light seconds and also a um, an ETA in seconds um, displayed there next to the planet Venus on our HUD. So as I'm approaching the planet, notice that the ship will automatically slow down. I'm not touching any of the controls. Um, and I'm keeping the ship aligned with the planet. As we approach the planet Venus, we'll continue to slow down, and uh, eventually we'll start getting close. Now since the planet itself doesn't have anything to enter, uh, it doesn't have anything to interact with, as far as um, uh, star ports or anything here that would be useful to us, so it's not going to give me a jump out notification. But what I can do is see if there is something nearby. So here's a tourist beacon, I'll select it, and uh, we'll go find that. And note my on my targeting reticle here there's a, there's a scope with a crosshair on it. I find that one of the most useful instruments uh, on a ship, so note that the blue circle is our destination, so if I actually look up, it's up and to the left, 
and so it is displayed on that instrument. So I'll use the instrument to roll my ship to get that uh, that destination blue dot lined up just right, and if I look up again, there it is, and then I'll roll, um, we'll pitch up to get aligned with the, with the target destination. So then I'll engage my throttle again, being careful not to keep it in the middle of the blue zone, and we'll approach. Note on the left, now it displays uh, how fast we're going, and now we're in the blue zone for speed, and then the distance. So when both of those are in the blue zone at the same time, you can jump out of Super Cruise by hitting the frame shift button, uh, the J key in the standard key binding, which is usually for most destinations somewhat less than um, a thousand uh, uh, kilometers. So there I was given the notification, and I hit the key, and we have jumped out, and are now in normal space. So I want to mention another couple of things about Super Cruise. Is that um, when we are close to any source of mass, it disrupts the drive. So right now I'm attempting to charge the drive, but it's charging much slower than before. That's because there are other vessels in the vicinity. Um, you can override that particular thing if you're trying to escape uh, a battle or a pirate, something you don't want uh, to deal with. Uh, by attempting to jump to another star system, which we'll talk about in a subsequent video. But I want to talk a little bit about controlling your ship in Super Cruise. So it's much like in normal space where uh, throttle controls forward motion and pitch and roll are uh, assigned to your mouse or to your joystick, of course, whatever configuration you use. Now, there are many of your, your ship's normal flight controls are disabled, so um, I can use the yaw, which is left and right, the A and D key. Um, I can, but all of the thrusting controls are disabled, so I can't thrust left and right or up or down. Those are uh, not available in Super Cruise. So you have to rely on your basic um, uh, plane flying skills, pitch, roll, and the yaw, rather than the ship's thrusters, which are available in normal space only. Those are the basics of flying in Super Cruise. Um, as I get close to a planet, so I'll just turn around here and we'll head back toward Venus. I'm going to set my throttle to maximum and demonstrate what happens if you're going too quick, too fast towards a planetary body. Um, so again, sources of mass will disrupt the frameshift drive and will alter your uh, maximum speed in frame uh, in Super Cruise. So I will do a demonstration of that here by getting close to Venus. And I'm going to set the throttle at maximum and then it'll tell me to slow down. I'm going way too fast. Note that my maximum throttle, that the, the current speed was greater than the maximum throttle, so it slowed me down to that point as much as it could. However, if I had been pointed at the planet Venus, we would have, uh, the ship would have performed an emergency drop, and uh, we would come to a stop. Uh, I'll demonstrate that here as well. Although, probably not going quite so fast. I don't want to blow up my ship. So we'll approach the planet pretty quickly here. And we're going too fast. Which is kind of the intent. Uh... Okay, so we took a little bit of damage there. Nope, my whole integrity uh, there is at 99%. Um, very minor damage, but we've dropped out too close to the planet Venus, which has quite a beautiful horizon. Note here that I have an FSD cooldown. My flight frameshift drive got too hot, 
Um, it was disengaged without uh, safety protocols, so it takes a long while uh, to cool down much longer than usual before we can engage the drive again and get back into super cruise and away from the planet. So, with that in mind, I'm using the opposite side of my uh, targeting reticle instrument. The um, unfilled circle says that the object in question is behind you, so now it's exactly 180 degrees behind us, um, which is how I want to uh, get out of here, so I will follow up and wait for the ship to come to maximum speed so I don't overheat when I jump here. Now I'll engage frameshift drive. Frameshift drive charging. Align with that escape vector. And we're back in Super Cruise. So that's how you recover from a, um, a close encounter with a, a uh, planetary body. And there you have it, the basics of Super Cruise flying. We'll talk about it a little bit more when I do planetary landings and uh, such like that. But that will be the subject of another video. This has been Druid4574, and thank you for watching.